Bonjour, c'est moi, Dene. Welcome back to another episode of Tell Me Why here on my channel. The day has come, it is September 3rd, and that means Chapter 2 has been released, yay! <laughs> uh, we learned some interesting stuff in the first chapter. It took some dark twists and turns and things that we thought we knew... Well, we didn't really know. Uh, we found that out, <laughs> that we misremembered some stuff in the past. And I'm very curious to see where this will go, or continue to go, in Chapter 2 and eventually Chapter 3. And on that note, let me continue the game, right? And see what happens. Will there be a cutscene? There should be one. It seems like there's... Ah! Once upon a time, Flashback. in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, <sighs> They found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. No, oh, wasn't that cute? And it confirmed that the princess is Marianne. We should play compass and north star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word. She went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman. Alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tell me why chapter 2, Family Secrets. She was really trying to hold it together, Mary Ann, when she served the ice cream. And she wrote the depressing stories. And the twins misremember the fateful event on that fateful night, apparently. I'm gonna get another copyright claim with this episode, I'm sure. Make for an awesome thumbnail. Closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. <laughs> uh. Can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. The if lighting is so beautiful. Down, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Just saying. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Goblin face is keep Dollar sign is donate or sell And trash can is, well, trash By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff From the bathroom this morning But I left you the toilet <laughs> How very generous of you Okay Yeah, where should we start? Uh, let's talk to Tyler, honestly Oh, yeah. 
You're doing a great job. Uh, Ooh, achievement thanks. unlock kick me. Aww, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the stove. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Oh yeah, by the way... Oh, first of all, objective, sort the ground floor furniture, finish the kitchen sorting. Uh, let me tap into... I don't know if the screen will go black for you. Let me tap into OBS real quick. <laughs> Okay, just wanted to make sure that I'm recording. Because it would have sucked if I wasted all of this time. Dump in cake. This is supposed to be dumpling cake or something? Well, anyway, ingredients... Uh, oh, you you can do this if you want. You can do this at home. Uh, one can of cherries, one can of crushed pineapple, eight ounces of chopped walnuts, crossed out by twins, chocolate chips! Uh, yeah, okay, so eight ounces of chocolate chips. Uh, for the cake, oh, for the cake mix, two cups of flour, sifted, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of white sugar, crossed out brown sugar, or uh, a half, a half, a half, a half a cup of birch syrup, um, one teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth cup of butter, note, cold, use margarine, uh, in a 9 by 13 inch pan, mix cherries and pineapple, sprinkle cake mix over pineapple and cherry mixture, Sprinkle walnuts over top. Walnuts cross out. Drawing of chocolate bar instead. Uh, bake in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 35 or 40 minutes or until golden brown. Every day. Please, mom. <laughs> yeah, again. Feel free to try this out at home. Actually, I might do this. <laughs> the vegan option, obviously. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Do we want to open this? Is this a good idea? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. Shane Dawson, is it you? Um, anyway, I thought something was gonna jump at us if, when we opened the fridge door, because, you know, with no power for a decade... Yeah, things might have gotten ugly, but, I mean, we couldn't... Uh, we didn't have any food at all, so, yeah, no worries there. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? What's that smell? What is that smell? What's that smell? It smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes. Delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam mm. got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Oh! Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Hope he didn't kill her. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero, too. Okay, so that should be everything in the kitchen. Finish the living room sorting, yes. Before we do that... Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. Can relate. Before we do that, let me take a, a, a rook around. <laughs> let me take a look around here. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. It doesn't seem like there's anything else. You Hello, know. ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. <laughs> While we're here, might as well go in here, right? Can I close? Ah, oh, um. Do I have to pick one? 
No, she does it herself. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Aha! Finally take a look at this. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? I don't know, do we? Okay, this is cell and this... Oh, the bathroom, yes. Yeah, okay, the objectives don't change. Okay, the, that's good to know. Are we standing on... We're a bit high up, aren't we? <laughs> okay, uh, we found a bug, it seems. We found a glitch. We're standing on top of something. Okay, we somehow... LOL. Okay, well, we broke the game, fortunately. Uh, not fortunately, um, I don't know where that came from. Somehow. Holy shit, I'm glitching my way up all the way! I'm directly under the ceiling, okay? Well, don't not, you have some fixing to do. Can we break out of bounds? Can we glitch outside this room somehow? Okay, we're down again. No, I don't think we can, but that was interesting. Um, good thing we went here, right? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. What is this? Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. What the fuck would that be? Say, ah. Uh... I remember <laughs> cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. Uh, well, let's take a look at this drawer then. I'm what assuming about that dresser. A dresser. If you want your towels to rot? Go for it. Oh. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. Why not? Let's keep it. Keeping it. Okay, and that seems to be everything in the bathroom, I think. All right, all right, I'm coming. Let's check out the living room then, as I'm supposed to do. Aha! Well, you gonna clean off the coffee table? Oh, they really hit it well. Down here? They really hit it well. Goblins were here. Is that gum? <laughs> oh, I guess that was probably me. New collectible, the big frog. Uh, do you know this horror game called One Late Night? I think that's what it's called, where you are in, a, in an office and a creepy grandma follows you around and wants to kill you. I think there was a similar easter egg. When you hit from grandma, you could crouch under a table and there was a troll, a literal troll face that said problem. <laughs> okay, there's something Oh, did we had uh, did we have some <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor volcano. <laughs> she was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne We can remember something. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. Oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. Must be hungry too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. <laughs> well, that's one th uh, one good thing about her. But yeah, I still don't like her. Just saying. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, 
Most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's <laughs> not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds mm. fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. So he's still pre-OP, okay? And yeah, about the photo, he doesn't look <laughs> too happy to be wearing a dress in this one, not gonna lie. But yeah, makes sense, right? Is that Eddie? It is Eddie, right? Or is it Sam? Oh man, I love this one. Why do I look so pissed? <laughs> I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Hmm. We can find a lot of memories. All of a sudden. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. Eddie. It's mm. not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <laughs> My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Okay, that's all from the shelf. Well, you gonna clean off the coffee table? <laughs> Last, yes. Fine, clean freak. It's gonna leave a stain on the wood. Oh. Ah. Eddie now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. <laughs> what about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That's unfair. Yes. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, again, coffee table last. We're gonna check out everything first. We had a lovely fire in here. That's a nice vase. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. Ooh. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Will he do it? Doesn't seem like well, he will. Okay. You gonna clean off the coffee table? <sighs> Fine, clean freak. It's gonna leave a stain on the wood. Out of my way! Out of my way! Out of my way! Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. Mm. I hid the stain with my toys, <laughs> forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. <laughs> Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat <laughs> on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> Did it work? Talk about that. Uh huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Let's take a look at this table first. What to do with this? I want to keep this. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Exactly.
Okay, mister. Let me clean off the coffee table, then. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. <laughs> all right. I'll keep it. Ah. The cow goes, Moo! I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. <laughs> but I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Mm. Library? We may not even have a living room. Oh. I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Hopefully. Let's Are turn you it again. Keep doing that? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it away. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn <laughs> things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. After cleaning this, obviously. Holy shit, the dust particles. Amazing. <laughs> hey, Allison. Come take a break with me. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Do I? I can't say it. Ah! I'm gonna go with the classic tea. Earl Grey or chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Mm -hmm. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Ooh. How ominous. Oh, a memory? But over there probably where Tyler went. Yes. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. He, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. <laughs> Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. Right here, she's very loving. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Her binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. And we will do this eventually. But... You know, with all the stories that I hear, in all honesty... I think I'm going to read one in every episode so that we will work through this while we are still playing the game and not afterwards, you know? So we had oh, <laughs> we had the princess's party last, so let's go with the goblins and the ice cave. The goblins and the ice cave. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins were playing near the glacier when they discovered a hole in the ice. They crept through a gradually widening passage and found themselves inside a spacious ice cave. Light spilled down the undulating, undulating blue-white walls in a way that made them look like electric waterfalls, and a column made up of hundreds of icicles stood at the center. This was a time before the goblins had settled beneath the old wooden house, and they had nowhere to live. Perhaps we could live here, they said excitedly. Moments later, the sound of stomping feet interrupted their play, and they realized that perhaps someone already lived there. They hid behind a boulder to wait and see who was coming. The old bear sauntered in the, into the cave, shaking powdery snow from his coat. 
he let out a giant yawn and lay down in the corner on a pile of tree boughs, snoring within seconds. When they were sure he was deep asleep, the goblins conspired to claim the cave for themselves. They chipped away at the, they chipped away at the glacier until they had filled the basket full of ice, then hid once more behind their boulder and started tossing chunks of it on the sleeping bear. Now, Old Bear was not the smartest creature in the forest, so when he woke up covered in ice, he roared, "My cave is collapsing!" Then he lumbered on then he lumbered to his feet and ran outside before the whole thing could come down on top of him. The goblins crept out after him and did a loop before coming back to find him sitting outside. What happened? they asked. My cave! It's collapsing! bemoaned the old bear. And it's time for me to hibernate! Where will I stay for the winter? It had, not, it had not occurred to the goblins that the old bear had settled in for the winter and they felt a little bad. But they did not want the old bear to know what they had done, so instead they offered to help him find a new den. Together they searched. They inspected cavernous stone and hollow trees and deeply pocketed knolls. Nothing they found was as beautiful as the ice cave, but the old bear settled on a packed earthen hollow that would keep him warm and dry for his long sleep. Good night, he yawned, and the goblins gleefully returned to their new home. In the spring, the old bear woke up and went for a nice long walk to stretch his legs. His path took him right up to his old cave, where he heard the curious sound of laughter. Making his way inside, he was surprised to find that his cave was intact, and the goblins were inside, playing a game. What's this? growled the old bear. The goblins stopped playing and looked ashamed. We're sorry, old bear, said the goblins, but we had nowhere to live, and it's just so beautiful. We didn't realize, we didn't realize you were about to hibernate, and then we couldn't bear to tell you, <laughs> bear, get it? <laughs> bear to tell you what we'd done. The old bear was angry at the trick. But the young goblins looked appropriately ashamed, and so he said, Come with me. He led the crafty goblins to the hollow in which he had hibernated for the winter. You two can have this spot, he said. And look, someone had built a big wooden house right over top it. Right over top it? No one lives there now, said Old Bear, but one day maybe someone will. The earthen hollow was not as beautiful as the ice cave, but it kept the goblins warm and dry, and they were excited that someday they might have someone lift they might have someone living overhead. Someone who baked cakes and tolerate their mischief. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins tried to steal the cave of the old bear, and how they got their own instead. Oh, what a lovely little story, right? <laughs> okay. Now that we've read the story, and taking a look at my stopwatch, I've been recording for 34 minutes now. So you know what that means. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of Tell Me Why. Or in another game here on my channel. Bye!